We do have amazing, the amazing, amazing team, part of the team, really, the Unveiled, who are joining us right here on Morning Rush. Very exciting times. I'm very excited. I mean, I've been following these guys for a long time. And I'm sitting here with Joshua Mtima, who is the CEO, the founder of The Unveiled. And I'm also sitting with Ashley Mabfumo, who is the PR coordinator. That's the spokesperson, right? Yes. <laughs> the spokesperson for The Unveiled. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, morning. Marissa. <laughs> how are you guys? I'm good, how are you? Very well, thank you. Now, I mean, a lot of people look at the unveiled and they're like, wow, I want to be like those guys or I want to hand, give them a handshake and, you know, things like that. Uh, so it's very exciting. Now, Joshua, to you, unveiled, why unveiled? What happened for you to start this group? What was your vision for this? Uh, my vision is always to, to represent the kingdom of God um, in excellence. Mm -hmm and so much creativity. And I believe that uh, uh, we were the, the chosen generation to unveil that into the world. And one, one of, the, um, of the passion that I had also was to represent our nation in a global you know, platform. And by, by God's grace, that is happening. And I think that's, that's how the name Unveiled came. Um, it was named by one of my sisters, uh, Salem Tima. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, understanding the passion that I had also, um, she then was inspired to to name the group uh, The Unveiled. And your sister's part of the group, or it was just like a family thing you guys were siblinging about? They are part of the group. Oh, two, wonderful. Two of them, uh, Orion and Salem, uh -huh. Tima. Yes, okay. they're part of the group. That's incredible. So, obviously, this group just started with you and Sally and your other sister. Yeah, we were at, we were at home, actually. Um, we used to sing together. Mm -hmm. Did you so, used to force them or they used to force you? I used to force them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so what happened is, uh, so what then inspired the big group to then start The Unveiled was the, the Amazing Voices competition mm -hmm. that we went for. Um, we, we just needed a big group and to expand. So mm -hmm. when we called in the other guys, that's when we, that, at that time, that's when we named the group. Uh, going to represent Zim. Mm -hmm. um, at the yeah. Amazing Voices the Amazing show. Voices and how many of you were there? Because I, I remember asking you once that, you know, you have just like a, a small number. How many people are involved in the Unveiled? Um, there were, we, at that time, we had about 12 members, mm -hmm. Ashley. Correct 13, me actually. 18, right? But okay. only eight were needed for the show. For the okay. show. And you were a part of this movement from when yeah. it started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's incredible. So how did you, uh, 13 people were needed? No, we, we, we're 13 people, but we only needed eight for the competition because it was about, they asked us to bring a group of six or eight. Okay. So we wanted to go with eight. Uh -huh. So that means some had to remain behind. And how was that process? That was going to be my well, next question pretty, of cutting people. It how was did cut, they feel? It was, it was not as hard because some of the guys didn't have passports. Oh, some right. at school. And the announcement for us to go to SA came, I think, two weeks before we needed there. Right. So there was no time for people to get passports and it was during COVID time as well. Uh -huh. So it was pretty hard for anyone to get a passport. So we just had to work with the ones who had passports. I remember we even had to invite someone else who was not even part oh, of the, just so that they could cover the gaps. Yeah. I love I love that story because it just shows uh, how God ordained this group That's was true. and how everything was just facilitated. Nobody's feelings were broken That's or true. whatever it was. So Ashley, were you a part of this group initially or did you come on board later? No, I was part of it when we when we wanted to go to the Amazing Voices competition. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, actually, one of the people was calling in people on the day we were invited to audition at the HICC, wow. asking people, where are you, so that we could go and, in, and audition. So I was part of the group from the The so straight up. Yeah. Oh, that is absolutely incredible. You guys mm -hmm. have been doing this for how many years now? It's been three years. Yeah. Three years yeah, only. Three I years. thought that you'd be doing it for a long time. Yeah, a lot of people say that. But <laughs> I, I think the traction that you guys have gained yeah. from this has been incredible. Yeah. And obviously when you did start, some of the songs I'm listening to, obviously like Hold On, is yeah. that a song that you wrote or it's a song, it's a cover? We wrote. We you wrote. wrote the song. Yeah. So I listen to some of the songs as well, and, and most of them are songs that we relate to, that you know, the public domain and you know yes. things like that. How do you come about uh, choosing songs that you sing, covers and things like that? How many songs have you written as a group, and who does the writing? Maybe I'll ask you. Um, so the writing mostly Josh. Um, it comes with melodies. 
sometimes it comes with words and then we add or someone can just come with their own song as part of the group and then we develop it from there so i think so far i can't count the number of songs which ones are unveiled songs how many could you say are there? the ones that are out yeah i think we've got hold on tapinda tapinda warangara zimbabwe uh i will worship um probably about 10 yeah probably you say? yeah five, five to ten five, yeah five to ten songs yeah. And uh, I do know that there's another one that's coming, but we'll leave that to the end just before we close. <laughs> but, you know, talking about collaborations, uh, how you are collaborating within your group to write songs, which is absolutely fantastic. It shows a great uh, step for teamwork. Mm. Collaborating with other artists. Now, you guys have been collaborating. We hear Feli Nandi. We hear uh, I Manucci, Emmanuel. We hear uh, Tembalami. We hear how, who else... Are you guys collaborating with how many artists have you collaborated with um so we've, we've got other artists that are coming soon there is ever tom oh yeah, wow we have a song with him mm. very soon uh we were, we're planning something but i'll keep this a secret <laughs> <laughs> the person is secret but uh so far those are the collaborations the one you mentioned the ones you mentioned and then uh with everton um yeah so so with with you with your collaborations who writes you write or they write or they come and say, hey, Josh, I have a song. Uh, I'd like to collaborate with you. Or do you approach the artist? So most, uh, actually, all of the collaborations, they came and said, we have a song. Uh, this is the song. Then I had to write in some okay. of the words or with the team. We had to add in uh, some of the, the lyrics. Then I guess that's how we, we then collaborate. This is, uh, this is take-home notes for me, because I'm just about to say, hey, so I have a song <laughs> <laughs> to collaborate with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, That's but clever. this is absolutely very good. I love how um, I, I, I do know the song with Emmanuel mm -hmm. uh, is now being Global. globally sung by yeah. many different countries. Yeah. How many countries is that and how does that make you guys feel? Wow. I think we, it's something that we didn't really expect because we thought it was just a song that's bringing vibes and all. <laughs> but the way it's reached South America is amazing. You took off Portugal, you took off Brazil. I mean, Brazilians have been making covers of the songs. Yeah. And, and it's amazing if you listen to their covers. They sing it in their own language, actually, wow. including the Shona part. Sometimes they sing the Shona part. Even in church, I was watching on, um, there's this show in Australia. I'm, I'm forgetting the name, but they, there's a group that performed it live. On, on that show in Australia. And they're singing in Shona, yeah. which is really something that we have always wanted mm. for people to identify Zimbabwe with their language as well. That is incredible. And this is just going in, in, in line and in tune with the name Unveiled, yeah. being unveiled in so many different countries. How does it make you feel as a CEO? I mean, you started in your house with your sisters. Yeah. Now watching this unfold in just three years, how does it make you feel? I, I'm, I'm so proud. I am grateful to, to God because certain things are um, impossible, especially when um, you, you're starting something. Mm -hmm. Imagining ourselves being here right now is close to impossible. But God has been faithful through the whole journey, and it show, showed us how uh, what we call impossible is definitely possible, possible with, with God. God. Yeah. And, yeah, it's amazing. The, the things that we've been seeing... The, the traction, the, the big people who are yeah. following and veiled all over across the world is incredible. It's something that we had never, ever imagined. And yeah. all thanks to God for that. That's incredible. Yeah, we do praise the Lord. And mm. now, um, I did ask you once and I said, well, you know, how do you, how do you choose the voices? You guys have auditions yeah. for this. So how, do you, how do you choose the team to come on board? And I now know that you, you also mentioned that because of the influx of everybody coming in and wanting to be a part of this mm. you've had to open another unveiled academy, academy. Mm. tell us about that all right so the unveiled academy is a space where it's a hub where we train new talent uh, help out those who can afford actually to help themselves um, basically yeah, it's a training field so i thought of this idea we need to impact into these young people mm -hmm. let's create this hub and that's how it was built the next thing I was shocked with how it blew up, you know. Um, it's, we've got a lot of people from all over the world wow. wanting to be part of the Unveiled Academy. Some are registering, actually registering to be part of the Academy. I'm talking of Australia, America, wow. oh, UK, you everywhere, yeah. you know. So we, we've, we, the audience is now getting bigger and bigger. 
And so. and as the PR spokesperson of this group, how are you going to accommodate? What is your plan to accommodate? I mean, all these uh, countries that want to be a part of Unveiled Academy. So what we're currently doing is we are having a Google Meet. So we have everyone oh, who wants right. to be part of it. Yeah. <laughs> so we meet, I think, three times in a week. Um, On Google? Yes. So that's where everyone comes. And then we just try to work it around. But I think it'll be really good. That's something that we're planning to just try and tour these countries and just have a master class in each wow. of the countries. Yeah. And have like a workshop or something yeah. for two, three days in each country. Yeah. That's just speaking about that. Uh, I'm just thinking money, 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 money. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Do you have sponsorship? for all of this? Have you mm. sought that or how are you planning to get out there? Yeah, that's, that's one of the challenges we've been facing, sponsorship, sponsorship. So what we've been, what we've tried to do is every event that we perform at, we always try to put some money aside mm -hmm. so that we save for future events and then we try to invest. Like right now we're selling t-shirts, uh, we're selling our merch so that we can also just raise money for all the tours that we want to have and any other events that we might want to have. And we're also approaching corporates. Oh, that's fantastic. Just to see. You know what, we, we've just run out of time. We're running out of time. But just quickly, tomorrow is a huge day for you. Yep. Something exciting is coming out. What is coming awesome. out tomorrow? So uh, it's been long. People have been waiting for the Unveiled Live DVD to happen. And finally, it happened. Yeah. Right? Wow. It was amazing. Yes. It was epic. So the first, very first song is being released tomorrow uh -huh. called Lururai Mayamutreme uh -huh. uh, by The Unveiled. So it's going to be amazing. Tomorrow is a day not to miss at yeah. 10 a.m. on our YouTube pages. We're releasing the song. Awesome. 10 a.m. on the YouTube pages. Now, all your social media handles is Unveiled, obviously. The yes. Unveiled. The Unveiled. Yes. The Unveiled. Facebook, Instagram, threads, everything. Yes. And Lururai Mayamutreme. Yeah is what's coming out tomorrow. My goodness, we've run out of time. I, I want you to stay, I want you to stay, stay, stay. <laughs> but you know what, I've been really ex inspired by, uh, um, you know, the tenacity, your, your passion for using the instruments that God has given you. And I wish you all the best uh, in your endeavors. Can't wait to see you guys in Australia, Brazil, America, mm -hmm. everywhere. Amen. Just, you know, Amen. flying Zimbabwe's flag yes. high. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Joshua Mtima, who is the CEO, and Ashley Mfumo, who is the PR coordinator. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much, guys, for being on the show with us. Konapo Konapo, Ipapwe Papo Pazetien Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.